Calling the Bristol 2 meter net. Calling the Bristol 2 meter net. This is N4NT. Name is Adam, and I'll be net control station for this session. Is there anyone on frequency that can serve as an alternate net control? KT4 RSQ. Okay, Stephen, I appreciate that. I got you down as an alternate net control. Um, is there any emergency or priority traffic? Okay, and I am battling some sinus stuff and a little bit of uh, loss of my voice, so if I unkey for a long period of time, I might be going through a coughing spell, but I'll try to get through it. Uh, the Bristol 2 meter net meets each Tuesday at 9 p.m. on the 146.67 repeater. This net is affiliated with the Amateur Radio Emergency Service, the National Traffic System, and the Bristol Amateur Radio Club. All amateurs are welcome to check into the net. Are there any announcements or bulletins for the net? Is there any formal or informal traffic for the net? Okay, I'm not sure. I'm on low power. Let me try to bump it up. Tech Control, you're coming in loud and clear over in Johnson City on low power. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I've got a second radio here. I'm actually monitoring the, the repeater signal and hearing myself pretty good as well, so we'll uh, we'll keep uh, keep going on here with it. And uh, any any further issues, just let me know. Okay, are there any uh, any mobile stations with or without traffic that would like to check in? Please call now. W E four A W J. Emmett and Bristol. Okay, net recognizes WE4AWJ, Emmett. Any other mobiles or portables? Net control, please check in. KD4CCO. Dallas from Grindstone Campground near Mount Rogers. Okay, Dallas, KD4 CCO, got you on the list. Any other mobiles or portables? Okay, the signal started dropping out when you gave the suffix to your call, but I think that was Chasen in Johnson City, KN4MWR, is that correct? Roger, Roger. Okay, I thought, that, I thought that's who that was. Um, okay, uh, 
Uh, any other mobiles or portables that would like to check in, please call. KC4, CBIY, Ward and Bristol, in and out. Good evening, Warren, KC4, WIY, good to hear you. I uh, got you in and out there. Thanks for checking in. Any other mobiles or portables? Okay, we'll work on the, the list here. Uh, got a proxy check in, KN4OUI joined us uh, on that logger, said he couldn't get into the repeater tonight. Uh, Robert and King Sports, so we put you on the list as a proxy. And then uh, Stephen KT4RSQ is our alternate net control. I usually go ahead and put you on the check-in list, Stephen, when you uh, when you do that. So I'll see if you uh, if you have any comments tonight. So good evening, everyone on the net tonight. Adam, uh, you're sounding a little rough tonight, <laughs> but I uh, hope everyone's doing all right tonight. I uh, had a fairly good day today, uh, not as eventful day of work, and uh, uh, towards the end of my shift, I received a phone call that uh, I am in the very last stage of the hiring process at uh, uh, a location that I've wanted to work at for many years now. Um, so hopefully that will pan out, uh, maybe by the end of the week. But uh, other than that, just doing some final preparations for uh, a table talk drill coming up this week uh, on Thursday. So uh, with that, I'll turn it back over to Unit Control 73 to everyone tonight from KT4 RSQ. Okay, Stephen, good to uh, good to hear you tonight, and congratulations on that. Uh, if it's uh, what I'm thinking of, that'll be uh, well. Either way, if it's somewhere you want it to be, uh, that'll be that'll be great for you. I'm uh, I'm glad for you. I I definitely know uh, know how that goes. Uh, taking the the long road to get somewhere you want to be like that, and I know how it goes to get there too. So uh, certainly uh, certainly happy for you. Okay, up next we have uh, WE4AWJ. Good evening, Emmett. Well, good evening, Adam, and everybody on the net, everybody listening in, and that, uh, that spaceship that won't land out there. This is WE4AWJ. Well, we had a hot day. I finished the mowing that I got done today, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, hay fever myself. I'm allergic to grass, and so this is the hardest time of year for me. I know how you're feeling. Other than that, uh, just uh, cranking on down, looking forward to meeting uh, Thursday, and uh, uh hope everybody has a good week. Hope everybody gets cut off all day. With that, we'll say 73 to everybody, and everybody take care. WE4AWJ, back to net. Okay, Emmett, appreciate you uh, checking in. And uh, yeah, speaking of the meeting, um, just keep in mind this is a a long month, so we're going to have another Thursday here uh, before this month ends, which means the the meeting is actually a week and two days away instead of uh, this coming Thursday. Um, but uh, I have uh, the reason I say that because I have talked to myself several times that uh, the meeting was coming up this week and uh, realized that. Uh, we got a couple extra days there that, that puts it uh, puts it off a little longer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, up next we've had, we've got uh, Dallas KD4 CCO and Mount Rogers. Good evening, Dallas. Well, good evening, Adam, and everybody else on the net. Yeah, it's been warm, but it's been nice over here. Uh, I think uh, the highs have been up in, in the upper 70s, but not not too uh, not too high. In the 70s, I'd say uh, I, I, I recorded a 79 degree, but that was because my weather station was in the sunlight, so that was a little bit, a little bit higher than it should have been. 
not much going on. We uh, we we came over last week and uh, we were sitting by the fire Saturday night and everything went black. The power went out in the whole area over here, and they didn't get the power restored till the next day about 3:30. So, but that's okay. My camper's prepared for that kind of stuff. So we just uh, ran on batteries and ran the generator a little bit. Kept right on going. So I guess we uh, gotta head back home pretty soon and start mowing grass. Don't think we'll have much rain, so maybe it hasn't grown that much. Hope not, anyway. So anyway, we'll say 73. And Okay, Dallas, we got your uh, 7-3 there at the end, and it uh, sounded like it might have cut off or something. Uh, I don't think you timed it out unless you just caught the tail end of somebody else, but uh might have slipped off the switch or something. But uh appreciate you checking in there, and uh, if you are uh, if you still got us, uh, I plan on uh, leaving Thursday night heading to the beach, and I'm going to take my 400 with me, which is the new radio I'm talking on tonight and uh, going to run uh, APRS on the way down and while I'm still local I may try to chat with a few people on the way out of town. I uh, don't know if I'll do a whole lot on, on the way down there or down there unless I get my wires X node number then I may try to check into the net Saturday night from down there just for the fun of it but uh, I'll definitely uh, have an APRS mode all the way, on the way down there so y'all want to track me and uh, see where my ventures take me. That's uh, be fun, something I've never got to really experiment with. Okay, well that brings us to the bottom of the list of uh, those that are not in and out. We had uh, KN4MWR uh, Chasen and uh, KC4WIY Warren both in and out. Um, at this time we'll take check-ins from any and all stations. Please call. Uh, BD4JJ. AT4 is Q. N4KZS. Kilo 4 Tango Echo Golf. CBS. Had a double there at the end. Uh, K4 TEG Dave, you won. And there was a station in there with him that. I think the last letter you call might have been S. If you want to try again, please. Kilo India Four Victor Bravo Foxtrot. Okay, got you on the list. There. Uh, any other uh, stations like to check in? Hello, Adam. Uh, KB4 BSF Bristol. Uh, check me in and out, please. Okay, was that uh, KD4 BSF? I'm sorry. Kilo Baker 4, Papa Sugar Foxtrot. Thank you. Okay, got you that time. Part of that's my fault. This uh, sign of stuff I got going on is uh, kind of clogging my ears up as well. And hard, having a hard time understanding this, as much as I am speaking. Uh, okay, any other stations? Please call. Kilo X24, United Kingdom. In and out. Okay, and uh, I forgot to mention there, KB4, PSF, uh, David, got you in and out, and then uh, KX4, UK also got you uh, in and out. Uh, any other stations, please call.
Okay, I'm going to give my straining voice a break here and let you all have it for a round. So let's go up to WD4JJ. Good evening, Jim. Well, good evening, Adam. Mentor NT, WD4JJ. Yeah, it uh, makes it rough when that old voice goes down. I go through that quite often. Not because of the hay fevers or anything like that. It's just one of these situations that I have in, have come up with. Well, the only thing I can say it's hot, is, but, you know, we've had a, a fairly good breeze going all the time, which has made it real bearable. Not, uh, you know, sure does help a lot anyway. But it's been hot. There's another hot day today, and I guess it's going to be another hot day tomorrow. But the weatherman says we are going to be looking at some cool weather ne- or cooler weather next week. Now, what they call cooler weather is, uh, well, we'll wait and see on that. Of course, uh, we, we use a little soaking rain right now. You'd be surprised how, how fast it's dried up. But I'll be guessing we'll probably not put off our mowing until about Thursday, and I don't think I'll do it tomorrow, probably Thursday afternoon. Since they say it's going to be, uh, there's going to be any rain, of course, you know, a pop-up shower can happen any time. Well, good to hear everybody, and uh, certainly uh, hope that everybody had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Back to that, 74JJ. Okay, Jim, appreciate you checking in. Yeah, I'm, I'm running the sprinkler on my garden as we speak because it's... Uh, Definitely not getting anything from Mother Nature. I finally got everything planted the other day. Had uh, got diagnosed with strep throat last week and caught it real early and got on some antibiotics and knocked it out before it got too bad and then turn around and get this stuff I've got now. So that's uh, fun, but I managed to get my garden planted before this got too bad. All right, uh, up next we got KT4SQ Dale. Good evening, Dale. Good evening, <laughs> Adam and all of that. <laughs> Not much from here tonight. <laughs> Just uh, I'm running a little bit late. So back to net control. This is KT4SQ. Yeah, Dale, this is KT4SQ. Okay, Dale, thanks for checking in. Uh, good to have you on the net tonight. Up next we have uh, Gary, Piney Flats, in 4 kzs Good evening, Gary. Well, good evening, Adam and uh, all the others checking in. Yeah, uh, thought about Dallas and he checked in. I know it's a it's a lot cooler up there at that campground when it's hot down here. Uh, no doubt about it. It's, uh, you can you can uh, live comfortably up there outside. <laughs> anyway. Uh, not a whole lot uh, going on here. I've uh, been at the uh, Food Cities. You, if any of you went to Food Cities in Bristol this weekend, you've probably seen the DAV uh, collected money, donations, and so forth. One of the big uh, fundraisers for the DAV for our chapter 39 here in Sullivan County. Anyway, that's about what I've been into. and. Uh, and Dallas, uh, we sold our motor coach a couple, three weeks ago, and I have bought a, uh, a, uh, our pod by Forest River, and, uh, it's got the kitchen, the uh, garage in the back there, there's the kitchen and everything. Anyway, uh, trying to get it situated and get something, uh, on my van to pull it with. And uh, this one, I'll be able to get in some of these state campgrounds and stuff a lot easier. Uh, with that, we're going to say 73 to all. God bless everybody, and uh, everybody enjoy the, the nice warm weather we're having, and be safe. Uh, in 4 kzs back to net control. Okay, Gary, appreciate you checking in tonight, and... Uh... Yeah, good to hear hear about the new uh, new camper you got there and stuff. Uh, hopefully that open open up some possibilities for you. Uh, speaking of Food City, uh, while I've got it here for a second, <coughs> excuse me, I sent out a, some info in the club newsletter about uh, being able to secure Food City for the uh, 
December meeting, if that's the the route we want to go, we'll discuss that at the at the next club meeting. And um, I included the uh, some of the menu possibilities, and I've got the full thing if anybody wants a copy of it. But uh, I just sort of weeded it down to what I think would suit us best, and uh, sounds like it's going to be a pretty good deal. Um, if you want to look that over, we do have to have to pick the uh, entrees and all that kind of stuff off of it, and uh, everybody kind of has to eat the same thing. So. <laughs> all right, let's go up to uh, K4TEG, Dave and Blubble. Hello, everybody. I, I kind of got in on the uh, middle list. Uh, I haven't got your net controls uh, call sign, so uh, I'll get that here. Uh, yeah, just enjoying the weather, and uh, I was uh, running through the uh, the frequencies and heard you all coming in here. Thought I'd uh, see about jumping in. So uh, it's always good to uh, make some new contacts, <clears throat> uh, especially local. I am over here in Blumpel, and uh, everybody's, uh, of course, the repeater's full quiet and in into here, so uh, that's good. And uh, just like I said, enjoying the weather. Uh, I've been working on a few uh, antennas here and there, and uh, that's about all on this end, so I uh, appreciate you letting me get in here, and uh, like I said, I'll get your uh, call sign, and I'll get it wrote down in my log book. K4TEG. Okay, Dave, appreciate you checking in. Yeah, thanks for uh, mentioning that, too. I need to put that out there every once in a while because it's kind of a legal requirement. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, N4NT, November 4, November Tango is my call sign. Uh, let's see, up next on the list, I've got KI4VBF. Uh, good evening. Yeah, this is Chandler Bluff City. I'm just kind of skipping through. And I thought I would jump in here and say uh, happy you know, Memorial Day. I missed it by a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say hello to everybody. I hope everybody has a great week. Yeah, back to okay, Jim, thanks for checking in. Um, appreciate you joining us tonight. And uh, the next two we had uh, David in Bristol and David in Bluff City, KB4PSF and KX4UK, both in and out. Uh, so we'll open it back up for additional check ins. Anyone that would like to check in, please call. A4EJQ, uh, no traffic. W4JH here, and I'll, I'll be in and out, please, Adam. 4CNR, good evening, no traffic. Okay, got K4EJQ, uh, Bunky in and out, and W4JH, uh, Jack in and out. And CNR, what was your what was the prefix of your call sign? I've messed that up. November four, NCR. Sorry, CNR, Canada National Railroad. See, you got me getting my call sign out wrong. Sorry about that. It's and part of the problems on my end. I've got the crud going on, and my ears are a little stopped up. Um, I got you correct uh, correct on the call sign. Now, were you in and out? I'm sorry. I have no traffic, but I'm here listening. Okay, appreciate you checking in. I'll I'll get my act together before it's over with here. <laughs> sorry about that. Took off on a coughing spell. So uh, each of those stations uh, got in and out. Um, so. Uh, We'll open it back up. Uh, any other stations like to check in, please call. I have four NT, K4 EJQ again. I uh, didn't have any traffic, but uh, I just wanted to rescind that report I had made earlier to you about your audio that went into the noise. It appears that I have a cat in each coax, and uh, it eaten just about through the coax on this happy talking. So I uh, apologize for the unnecessary report of noise on your signal. Over. 
Oh, no problem at all. I was I was confused more than anything because, like I said, I, I record the nets and I had another radio in, in the background here and I turned it up to listen and I'm like, well, that sounds like I'm coming through okay. But, uh, nah, no problem at all. Uh, I, it, it did give me a, a little bit of a scare there because this is a brand new radio. I've had less than a week and I was like, oh, no, please don't let there be problems with it. <laughs> Well, I hope you get over your uh, your cold or whatever you have, and uh, before you get down to the beach, that's no no fun going to the beach and feeling under the weather. It's in four NT. Yeah, I'm throwing everything I can at it uh, without uh, overdo it, trying to overdo it. So, but I've also been told that you know if I still have it lingering when I get down there that the 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 air and everything down. I'm going to Myrtle Beach. That all that'll that'll help. So because I know I know part of it is probably allergies too. So it's just that time of year for it, and I've been working outside quite a bit. Yeah, and I'd like a good dose of salt air and salt water to offset the allergies. Absolutely, and it's it's been a few years since I've got to experience that, so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully that'll take care of it. Roger, I'll say good evening nice to everybody on the net. Good to hear familiar voices again, and uh, we'll uh, bow out of here and uh, catch you all some other time. And for NT, K4EJQ will be clear the next. Okay, Bucky, thank you for checking in, and thanks for the short queue. So there, always, uh, always enjoy it. Um, all right, we're uh, at the bottom of the check-in list. Are there any other stations that would like to check in? Please call now. By the way, m 4 CNR, I do have some information for you guys, just so you guys know. Okay, um, go ahead, when it's coming up as Richard, is that what you go by? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, as it stands right now, it looks like we may be losing a couple repeaters. Sam, WM4T, currently has the 110 down. He removed the 880, um, and I know that the 700 is also going to be pulled off the mountain. Um, within the next week, so we're going to lose about three to four repeaters in the greater area, just so you guys know. Um, it will be nice to have this repeater here at least. I appreciate what you guys do. And for CNR. Okay, Richard, thanks for that uh, that information. Uh, I know the, the range of this one is certainly a little more limited than, than what the 700 and 110 have been, but uh, all are certainly welcome to uh, come over and use these repeaters anytime. Uh, we did uh, did make some antenna improvements and stuff on it several years ago, and uh, seems to have helped the range. It's uh, a little limited toward Kingsport, but uh, I do hate to see those go though, because that's uh, that's been a huge uh, huge thing in this region that um, those repeaters uh, are count for a lot of our activity, but uh, I did notice the 700, I uh, couldn't get into it already, so that one, uh, if it's coming down, it's probably, uh, that was probably the end of it whenever its last day was, but uh, I certainly hate to hear that. Are there any other stations before we close that would like to check in? Okay, does anyone have anything else for the net before we close? Okay, we had a total of 17 check-ins this evening. And I'm going to double check our uh, Facebook. I got it running in the background, make sure I don't have any proxies on here. Um, don't see any. Okay, so we had uh, 17 check-ins. Uh, 
this evening. Thanks to each of you for taking time to check into the net. This is N4NT closing the Bristol 2 meter net at 9.30 p.m. and returning the W4UD repeater back to normal amateur use. 7-3 and good night.